Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be working on my 1UZ240SX. It's an S13. And uh, I finally got some BC coilovers. The uh, the right front strut's finally going out. It's knocking around. It, it squeaks really bad. And there's no other good way to fix it besides put coilovers on it, right? So that's what we're going to do. The car all loaded down with jack, jack stands, and coilovers. Taking this over to my buddy's house. He's got a bigger garage, got a little more room. I could do it here, but it's always tight on this side. No matter what I do, I can scoot the car over. But, but you're tight here or tight there, and he's just got more room. So we're doing it at his house. It really doesn't make that much noise or wander or do anything besides make this annoying noise. So we're going to get rid of that noise and make the car look better and handle better all at the same time. Teams or times or whatever, we're all right. Those packages are all different. Those are so shiny. I don't even remember what my little package was. I'm going to start on the back part to the front. I brought all the jack stands. Already, mm -hmm. The preload's already set. This already locked down. That's got to be Are those, are these, uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, high adjustment yeah, settings. Yeah, pretty yeah. I wish more of it like that. Imagine it's got to be left. Oh, you nice. got adjustable uh, dampening, too, don't you? Yeah. Adjustable everything. Sure. 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 That just say D. No, it says R. I guess it matters. Does it have an L on it? Matters what? Uh, D12 R. R. Uh, <clears throat> rear. I guess it wouldn't. Ma it makes sense. It doesn't matter. Left or right on the back. Or maybe you got two rear rights. Rear rights. You're right. Usually. There's some wrenches. Oh wait. What kind of wrenches? Regular. Oh, hold on. What are you? Minor adjustable. Ah. I find it. There's a yeah, there's one. Is there a swinging one? Uh, Those things work so. Because you you get them to where you can't. Right. Two sizes. I guess one's for. Oh, because the, the lock ones. Oh, smaller. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, but these. Yeah, but these don't need to be Oh, nice, shiny, and new. Yeah, these ones, these ones are sweet. You would think you would think they'd be in the same drawer, but nah. Now we just got to get all the old junk off. Here's the problem. We're good, bud. Holy crap, the difference in size and the weight. This thing is significantly heavier than these. And you can tell just sitting here, top to top, bottom to bottom. I don't know how much it's going to drop it, but it's going to be a lot. Moment of truth. Drop it. Oh, shit. Oh, we're coming down. Is it stuck on it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. Shit. I guess we're going back up. We gotta get the jack oh, back under somehow. The car's coming with it. Ignore all this crappy red paint. I was young. We were all there once. Well, this thing is way too low. Can't get the jack out from under it. So we're gonna adjust this right here and pick the car up. 
after about 30 minutes of messing around adjusting ride heights this is what we ended up at it ended up being right back where it came in at only i had the jack at the side not stuck under the car because it is significantly lower probably about three inches so now the lowest thing is my oil pan in the front which that kind of sucks but it's a decent amount of clearance also have to be careful And I'll bolt it in, nice and easy. The coilovers are on and adjusted to a, a decent ride height, or at least what I like. Yeah, I usually like my tires right there at the fender. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to. I don't want to scrub every time I hit a bump or got to go slow over railroad tracks. I'd rather maybe not jump them, but but I'm not slowing down to five miles an hour to cross the tracks. It's nice and level. Top of the tire, bottom of the fender. That's what I like. Now these things ride really, really firm. I like the springs are a bit heavy for a street car. It's definitely, this thing still doesn't have a front sway bar because uh, the oil pan for the 1UZ wouldn't fit if I like that much. So I think I'm going to go with the JK, I think it's J, G, no, GK Tech. They've got a adjustable one. This says it won't clear the power brace. I don't have power brace yet. So I think I'm going to get that and then I'll make my own version of a power brace to get around that. Now, driving it around is a lot funner. It's, it's way more responsive. But with it set at the factory dampening level, oh, there's like 30 clicks or something. It was set at 17. And like every bump or just pulling into the driveway, there's a little lip and it's just BAM! And it's a little violent for my liking, but I back these down. I back them down. They're all the way soft right now. Like there's a, a bunch of adjustment back up. And you can make it handle it as tight as you wanted. Now at least at the racetrack. If, if there was a racetrack around here, there's not. All we got is a drag strip in, in Chattanooga area. That I know of. If, uh, if anyone is if, replying in the comments. If anybody knows of a track anywhere near here. Besides going all the way to Atlanta. But, anyway, I got these where I want them. It, it rides pretty good. I may look into getting a little bit of softer spring. I, I may not. After backing that down, it's it's comfortable enough, but still very sporty. So, all that's working out. I'm working on painting the top right now. I didn't do a whole lot of, of how to do it, or how to put coilovers on your S13, because there's a million videos. Everyone's got a 240. I, this is just for anybody that's following me or my build. This has got coilovers on it now. So I'm going to get this roof painted because it's starting to rust pretty good. I don't know about real good, but uh, you can't see it. Look right in here, down in this groove, is surface rust. And I just want to go ahead and knock that out. I'm just going to paint it black. The, uh, the window here whistles like hell, anything above 60. So... I'm looking in. At least you can still get new seals for the sunroof. I thought about an Elite, but all the cheap Elite kits, you got to rivet the damn plates to the roof. It, it looks like crap. For a race car, it's great. I don't want that. And I'll just stick with my sunroof for now. Unless I can get the whole top of a car and you know, drill all the spot welds and actually put a, a slick top on it. Uh, I, that'd be cool. I'd do that. But that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.